if one morning you woke up and wanted to find out something about a 1906 Model 3 and a half Venus carburetor, and you picked up the phone and you called out there, you would get immediate factual information. And not only that, two days later, you'd get 15 pages of reprints, technical data of the very item you were talking about. Austi, our premier automotive I would like to say that uh, through the years, and I guess I've known Austin, I'm a lot younger than some people, so I've only known him about 38 years. And uh, he has been very, very helpful in all my restorations, and uh, I'm really thankful for that. And he's been a great source of information and parts and so forth, and a lot of the things I've put back on the road wouldn't be back on the road with his help. Thank you. It's great to honor you tonight. When I first met Austin, uh, I could best be described as uh, uh, a young nut. He wrote a column, Young Nuts and Old Volt. Well, shortly after I met him, I became an old Volt real quick. Uh, being an artist, I uh, express myself a little bit better uh, graphically than I do uh, through a microphone. Austin, I'd like you to come up here and present you with this book of cartoons that I've drawn uh, in the committee as a range of art. Um, for your different moments in the experiences that we've had uh, together. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't. This episode, of course, proves that Austin Clark's resourcefulness and presence of mind is limitless, and also that his sense of humor is positively wicked. Over the course of the last 25 years, I've been able to enjoy the fruits of all of those virtues of Austin Clark. We have worked together on many projects, and I have seen his sense of humor in so many, many ways. That he is a wonderful friend has been evidenced by this evening. Whenever the name of Austin Clark is mentioned, it is with great pride that I say, oh, he and Wally are just super people. We've been friends for years. It's such a privilege to say that. I'm delighted to have been here. Having Austin Clark as a friend is one of the finest things in my life. Thank you. Uh, I am Henry Austin Clark, Jr. <laughs> I enter a bar somewhere in Long Island, people who know me will turn around and say, here comes the old bar. <laughs> now, I'm not going to take a long time talking to you tonight for one of several reasons. One of them is that we've been listening a long time to a lot of people who know more about what I would want to say than I do. <laughs> a lot of people who are experts on me and have forgotten a lot of the stuff I've done and I'm telling stories about things that I can't remember every time. <laughs> and that, that's one reason. There's, and there's another reason for my not talking very long, and that is that we're, we have a parking garage next door to us where some of us have cars in there, and that closes at 12 o'clock. <laughs> so we have to get the cars out of there before that. But I do want to take a few minutes to say that I'm deeply honored to see such a tremendous number of good friends, old friends, young friends, middle-aged friends, and friends that I have not seen in a while, friends that I've seen yesterday or day before, and all of whom I would like to see as many times as possible. All right. I can't remember all about everyone. Uh, I do know that my daughter is here. She derived from Minneapolis, <laughs> Cynthia. And Anne came from Virginia. And Jim is here. My son Jim from Florida. And Al made the record, I guess, by coming from Greenwich, Connecticut. <laughs> Short distance record. And it's wonderful to see them all. And I'm just totally overcome 
I should say to all of you that I was totally unaware that this was happening. I thought I was coming into New York to have dinner with Jeff Krause and Bev and Jim Cox and my son Jimmy and my wife Wally. And Jim and my wife and I drove in and came here and walked in the door and saw this perfectly enormous gathering of old friends. And I was totally shaken. And I would be days and weeks before I ever get over it. <laughs> so thank you all ever so much.